Hello, this is Charles, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's Broken World. <laughs> Why, hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video on the Charles channel. Um, now, you're probably asking yourselves, what is this? Now, this is a copy of the Ep by Ep converted to Java. Um, and this is the process that we're going to have to be going through for a couple of weeks, we are thinking. Um, to get this yeah. perfect. Um, so, if you're finding some differences, or seeing some weird inconsistencies, that's because this hmm. world is glitched. It's like Very. it's like um, Worlds Apart, a video that Stampy did. Uh, bingo Hall, for example. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The that's Bingo so Hall... Um, because it's concrete. So, basically, I can tell you the story of this world. So, this is Stampy's world, we all know and love. Um, but the problem is that uh, the entities, when we converted the world, some of the item entities have glitched, and some of the blocks have just completely disappeared. So look at the UFO. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, you got ha Henry's house, um, and Harrison's we've house. also got something that Harrison's house. Yeah, my bad. And we've also got something over here. I can't really funny. The melon tree is just completely oh gone. Um, <laughs> That's and um, I'm just going to explain what so what the problem is. So like I said, it's entity IDs um, that are just being glitched out and not being able to read um, what is like there. So like you can see, there's also some lighting glitches with the world. Um, so you'd have to manually go around and place blocks. Um, in here, Hitchhiker's Castle is actually looking alright. That's one build that I thought would have gone. But look at all the ice. The ice is glitching. Um, uh, you know, the Sunland is actually not that bad. Um, I think horrible. that's a patch, you know. Yeah, the biomes probably weird. Go take the boat shop. Design the biomes are weird. Recycle Michael is gone again on oh. this world. Um, huh. the, so is the barbers. So snack on tracks. So it's a bit. Oh, the fireworks shop's gone. The slabs, yeah, that the clean Michael machine. Only on this world, right? The clean mm. machine is gone as well. I didn't even know this was down here. Um, oh yeah, symbols house. You know, look at um, flying Hot fish, for example. <laughs> um, oh, but also boy. another thing that we'd have to manually change with these worlds is that the sign, the signs are usually one more up now on Stampy's world because all of the sign data changes. Um, bits of, uh, fancy pants are just gone, like the purple wall, and you may be thinking to yourselves, why is it only some chunks, why are some chunks not, you know, f why are some chunks fine and others are not, it's because, uh, their chunks have been, like, semi-loaded in when we went onto the world to, like, make it so it's convertible, so, for example, um, good news, the newspaper place is, like, sort of chopped in half, um, oh. The Funland is okay. I did find some games that are a bit glitched. There are these weird light glitches all over the place. Um, but if we looked a bit closer, we'd find a lot more damage that can be done. So, for example, uh, there's no entities in um, Fashion Sense. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, there are some glitches on the floor but this is one of the reasons why um what we want to do which is get this world back on bedrock with accurate edges is going to be very very difficult mainly because we need a world that's acceptable enough to put on the bedrock on bedrock well not even only that it's the fact that uh they fixed it in a lot of converters where you know when you convert a world over and like the chests are all like split down the middle like the double chests a lot of converters are now doing a fix for that and that is going to be very very difficult because for accuracy purposes that split is kind of what makes stampy's world um accurate when it's on bedrock because it's you know you can tell that like the chests are all weird so with them being fixed it's put us in a rock and a hard place do we sacrifice the edges for lit chests and, you know, I can sort the signs out through uh, some doing, doing some freaky stuff on my brother's old Xbox, which that's fine. But, or do we sacrifice the chests having to fix them, which is going to be a nightmare just for edges um, and item frames and other things are going to be messed up in that process because no conversion is perfect no matter what you use. So it's a very difficult situation that we're in at the moment and I'm hoping that we can find 
uh, a way to resolve that, even if it is the worst case scenario that makes it a bit more accurate for uh, easy for us to work with, so, I guess. So some of you might be asking, oh, this is kind of interesting. Some of you might be uh, asking, um, oh, why God. don't you just do what Stampy did, which is go to the version that he converted bed to Bedrock to, do all of that in order, the same order he did, and then you'd have accurate edges and the same. Well, it's kind of very, very tricky. One of the reasons is, but we don't have a very, very good... We don't have a great window, because we don't have a version of Bedrock um, that can convert the edges without, like, messing around. And the Stampy's World is one of one. Um, that has been clear, you know. All of the attempts that me and Tyler have made to get accurate edges have not been perfect. Even though we call them accurate edges, none of them will be perfect, and which is why Stampy's World is one of one. And when we get the download, I'm going to swap the edges out. Um from the yet by up from what we get from on the yet by up to what they are actually yeah. are um but it's just to say don't expect much yet by up content over the next couple of weeks because it's going to take us quite a while to get this perfect um but you will you should see some more update videos coming soon for this world and a project that i've been sneakily working on by myself which tyler yes. knows about it's very very cool uh -huh. um but yeah it's just kind of an update video just to say yeah don't expect much content on the yet by up because of how much um, work we've got to put into converting it and everything and finding a, a good enough converter that won't glitch it. Um, we've used Chunker. This is the what this is a Chunker cut version, which is probably one of the best ones we've used. Of course, we've not had the data like this be ripped apart, but most of the signs and everything stay in place in the entities. I think a lot of it as well with Chunker as to what we've been seeing is because this is on 1.12.2 so over time I think in 1.13 they did a massive overhaul to a bunch of the block IDs from what I remember so pretty much it may work a little bit better on a newer version but it still uh, kind of puts the thing into perspective of like what outcome do we want from this versus like what outcome can we get from this because of course the best case scenario is having everything there but it's not going to be that easy based on how things are being because based on the way minecraft and microsoft and like mojang have been with world conversion it appears evident to me that they're not going to fix the sign data being um corrupted in conversion that is always going to be a problem from here on out so it's a very very downhill perspective if things don't go our way realistically so that's pretty much the point. We are a bit, a bit in, like Tyler said, in a bit of a rock and a hard place considering this glitch. And you might be asking yourself, why is it on Java in the first place? I've got a schematic in the accurate edges to the world. I love that mountain, that looks sick. <laughs> so it's kind of going to be a bit difficult to do that with this glitch in the way. We're not going to go and refix everything that's broken because that would just take too long. Um, but that's pretty much it. We can't really do anything until I figure out a good way enough to get it accurate. But that's the run over. Thank you guys for watching. Expect more content on the channel soon, and I will see you all later. Bye! Bye-bye!